low emission slurry spreading is now mandatory for derogation farmers. Low emission slurry spreading techniques are less for short, such as trailing shoe or dribble bar, place slurry in bands or lines on the ground, rather than across the entire surface as with the conventional splash plate method. These low emission slurry spreading techniques, combined with the correct timing of application, have been shown to reduce ammonia emissions by up to 30% compared with splash plate application. Other benefits of low emission slurry spreading are an additional 3 units of nitrogen available per 1000 gallons applied, reduced grass contamination, can apply slurry on higher grass covers, better graze outs, faster turnaround time from slurry application to grazing, widens the window to apply slurry on your farm. From the 15th of April this year, all slurry on derogation farms must be spread with low emission slurry spreading techniques. Department of Agriculture require farmers to keep records of volume of slurry applied using low emission slurry spreading in 2020 and 2021, where contractors are hired to spread slurry on farms, invoices will be required. In summary, low emission slurry spreading is a win-win for you the farmer and the environment. <laughs>